Hi, hello, how are you? Amanda, Sane Artist. We're gonna talk about the Tailgate Collection. This is my favorite collection out of all the fall collections that have recently come out, and they go all the way through November. And I wanted to show you how I would work this one because again, this one is my favorite collection. So I have majority of my makeup on except for what I need for my collection. So first I'm gonna start with my lips, I'm gonna do my cheeks, and I'm gonna end with my eyes because these colors work so good together. All right, so first things first, we're gonna do our lips. We're gonna shade and we're gonna contour and I'm gonna use suede to line my lips and to contour my lips. So the first brush that I want that I didn't get out ahead of time, shocking, I know. I do this in every single one of my tutorials where I'm like, oh, I didn't get that, but I did today. Okay, I'm wiping off some glitter off of this multitasker brush. This is a great brush for lining, contouring, all the things. I think I need to just make sure. Okay. All right. So first things first, we're going to go into suede. Suede is a really good color. This is a great tool just to have in your palette because it's so good for correcting color. It's great for shadowing. It's a great bronzer. It's a great lip liner. And so you can use it for multiple things. I like to use this to camouflage my melasma that I have. It's right on my contour line. And I dust that around and camouflage, drape it up because I'm starting to get more and more discoloration up and around this area of my face. So I just basically put it under all of my makeup and drape it and it's so good. And it, I like that it's dense. So it is very matte, it is very dense. This is the lip color I'm gonna use. This is Desert Sunset and it's so pretty, hydrating, moisturizing, and it looks really good on the lips. So I'm gonna contour because that's how I make my lips, which are not filled, I mean, I have naturally thin lips. and. This is what I do to make them look a little bit fuller. So what I'm gonna do is on the big end of my multitasker, I'm gonna grab some suede, and I like that it's dense because it stays put. And that's why I also like using it as a camouflager under my makeup, because it stays where I put it to camouflage, and it holds the makeup there really well when you lay it on top. So I'm putting this underneath my lip and just thinning it out and smoking it out under my lip. And this is giving the illusion of a shadow, like a curl of the lip. And I'm gonna go up above my lip here and I'm just gonna create an outer lining. So you can see my lip line and then I'm just gonna pull this down and this is gonna create a shadow, but it's not gonna, a lot of people like to outer line their lips to give them that fullness when you can just create a shadow and get the same outcome. It just looks a little more natural. So I'm gonna switch it to the small end and I'm gonna pick up more of my suede lip liner and I'm going to line my lips and I'm gonna hug the edge. I'm not gonna outer line. The texture of a lip in your face is just different. And that's why I don't like outer lining. So I go right on the edge and I just pull up and over. I like doing that better than trying to be really particular on the cupid's bow. And then I come down here at the corner and I wing it out just to give the upper lip a little more definition. I like doing that. I think it gives that lip a little fuller of a look. So again, hugging the edge and around and then wing it. Easy. And it just gives a little bit of definition and my upper lip already looks fuller. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom, hugging that edge and bringing it down, not outer lining. Hug, 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 hug. Okay. And it just gives that nice fullness. I think because it's maybe a darker shade than what I'm putting on my lips or what my lips are, it's just good. And I just tap on my lips and then I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to go into desert sunset. It's such a great neutral pink tone. And I'm just gonna fill, look at that. Look at how pretty this goes together. And it's just a good neutral color. This is a very subtle palette. It's nice neutral colors. You can pump things up. You can add a little bit of sandstone in here if you want, if you wanna pump it up a bit. It's You can do whatever you want with this palette. There's so many options. So I'm gonna get that upper lip and ta-da. And it's just this pretty nude lip, but adding that shadowing just creates a pouty lip and I like that it makes it's pretty and that's why we do anything right that's why we wear makeup because it's pretty I'm gonna use the shape brush this is a demi brush it's a really good 
blush brush. It's also a great bronzer brush, a great powder brush. It's another good tool that does a multitude of things. So I'm going to go into sandstone and I'm going to go into the illuminator it comes with. This is rose gold. It's so good. And I'm going to tap on both. And then I'm going to start at the top part of my cheek and I'm going to let that rose gold lay here. And then I'm going to smile and I'm going to bring sandstone down. It's just as good. Look at how, oh, you see that? Oh, that's, and I'm just gonna go into sandstone here, add a little more, and I bring it down, but I really like to focus it up here. This is, look at how gorgeous that is. That's such a pretty fall color when it's still nice outside. I mean, it's August, no, it's not, it's, no, it's September, but we still have that. That's how bad this weather is for fall. It's still so summery, I feel like it's still August, but this is such a good transition color, but it's a beautiful fall color. So again, tapping into both. I make sure that the top part where my rose gold is, is at the top of my cheek here. So it's mixing with my sandstone, but it's also giving me that sheen of illuminator. Tapping in. Sandstone is a highly pigmented color, you can tell. And so I don't like to tap too much and I'd rather build up then try to break back down. And so with creams, you can build, build, build. You can also blend down. So I'm gonna take this end of the brush here and I'm just gonna pull that brightening down and look at how pretty that is. It's such, oh, I love, love, love this color. All right, so I am going to prep my lids and I'm actually thinking, what do I wanna do here? I'm gonna go into my brightener. I'm gonna get into my, my daily palette. This is actually my gym palette. I'm gonna go into my brightening. For eyeshadows, I love putting down a really bright base because it makes those eyeshadows hold their pigment. Whereas if you do something very neutral, say your main highlight, it can, it just doesn't, it's, it's changing the tone because it's a darker color. All right, so I've just put my brightening highlight on my lid and I am actually going to grab a little bit of illuminator here and I'm gonna pop this way up here so that it adds just a little bit of sparkle under my brow right here. It's so pretty. I love this. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And this just adds a little peekaboo shimmer. I don't like a bold shimmer on my eye because I am maturing and it is a Sunday, so we're going neutral. And so I don't like a hyper pigmented color. Next, I'm gonna go right here and this right color right here is Valencia, super pretty. And I'm gonna set my lids so I get very, I'm maturing lids, I am of an age, and you wanna set your creams with a powder. So I'm taking Valencia, Valencia because it's a light color, but look at how pretty that base is. Look at how pretty that is. It's very light, very neutral. If you have a deeper skin tone than me, oh my kids, I'm sorry. If you have a deeper skin tone, this would just be a great base because you wouldn't see it. So it's a great base to set your shadow or your creams with because, well, it wouldn't show up. I like this because I'm going for a nice warm tone. I'm going to try to find an eyeshadow brush like this one right here. And we are going to dig into this color. This is tangerine. I love taking an orange tone and using it as a transition color. And I'm going to pop this way up here on my brow bone. Look at how much this just brightens things up. Now I have brown eyes and I will say it's hard to make brown eyes pop. My brown hair's been helping, I guess. That's what I've been told. But <laughs> finding an eyeshadow that can really make your brown eyes pop is hard. So using orangey tones, I have found, brings out almost a little bit of amber hue in my brown eyes. So that makes me happy. So if you have some amber hues in your brown eyes, grab yourself an orange tone shadow. Tangerine, Bubba, that's this one right here, has a little bit of orangey tone to it, is so good. But Tangerine, Leo, Zion, I'm sure there's another one. Havana are really great transition colors for brown eyes. I love them. All right, next I'm gonna go into, I was, I'm gonna use my finger, I'm gonna go into Spice. Spice is a cream and it has a bronzy shimmer to it. And I'm gonna use my finger to apply it. And I'm gonna pop this way out here. And I'm just gonna messily push this into the inner lid or outer lid, just and out onto my brow bone here. Just. It's so, so pretty, but I'm just keeping this on the lid on the outside and then pulling out past that outer corner just to have a little bit of, I like a smoky eye. I'm a sucker for a smoky eye. Okay, pulling that out. Okay, we're gonna take the small end of the eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna push in to that 
spiced color and we're gonna go way down here on our lash line, pulling it up to meet where I put it on my outer eye. <gasps> and it's so pretty. We're gonna flip it to the fluffy end and we're just gonna blend and push. Look at that, so, so pretty. Again, down here, this is such a good, oh, I just love this color. I think I do that almost every time. My kids are so loud. I hope I don't have to yell at them during a tutorial. It's one of my least favorite things to do is like fully mom. I hate that. Okay, next I'm gonna go into Bubba and we are just going to go over that spice to help set it and push into the crease. Same thing over here, right here, into the crease. I'm gonna have to yell at my children. Girls, girls, forget it, forget it. Not gonna happen. Oh my gosh, I can't do this. <laughs> Any mom watching this knows what I actually wanna do right now, but I'm not. All right, mascara time. And I'm gonna grab my eyeliner. I like to waterline on my upper lash because I feel like it gives you a fuller lash look. So we're gonna, whoop, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> we are going to waterline. I just look down and push up and over. Oh my gosh, these children. Girls, stop. Okay. Pushing up, pushing over. I have something in my eye. I haven't even started and I have something in my eye. I don't like to push in past where my lashes thin out. I'm really just doing this to fill in between my lashes so they look fuller with my mascara. Now I'm gonna take my mascara. I use Bare Minerals Lash Topia. My eyeliner is Maybelline Tattoo Studio. I'm gonna wrap this up because that's absurd noise out there. Absurd. So we're just going to, we did the waterline, we're gonna wiggle at the root just to fill it in really good, let it get good and thick. I don't like to do this all the way to the tops of the bristles because that's how you end up with those tarantula mess, like mascara look, you know, where they just look like a bunch of tarantula legs. All right, so we're just wiggling and pulling, wiggling and pulling. I do wanna add something to the inner part of my lid. I feel like it just needs a little bit of shimmer just a little bit so we're gonna add i have to have some shimmer i don't i am who i am right my kids finally got i spoke too soon so we're gonna take some of this rose gold with the small end and i'm just gonna tap this right here on the inner part of my lid just because that's pretty that's why because it's pretty and it makes me feel good when my kids don't listen to me okay all right so Boom. That's, this is the, this is a tailgate collection. And it's so, this is, I'm going to the pumpkin patch. We're taking a family picture. This color, these colors together are just so good. So go grab the tailgate collection. That's all I wanted to show you was a good tailgate collection. And I wanted to showcase that my children screen too. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go mom now, and you guys have a great day.